What more can you tell us about Vince McMahon taking Vincent Kennedy McMahon? This man making a football this, league, man. Let's go. Uh, when the XFL broke up, he did not want to do that. I know he did not, uh, but he had NBC, uh, who was a half partner. Uh, he had UPN, which was broadcasting the games, and UPN supposedly wanted to loop that in with WWE, and he was going to lose money out of the deal, so he sucked it up and said, on my way. But anyone who knows Vince McMahon, he did not want to fail at this. And I don't know if this is because uh, the NFL has had some issues. I think there's definitely going to be a play on the national anthem. I will call it right now. Every player in whatever this league is going to be called is going to stand for the national anthem. I, based on what I know of Vince They're McMahon. They're throwing shots at NFL? The challenges, though. Are they throwing shots at the NFL? Somebody tell me. As our great documentary pointed out was people at the end of the day wanted real football. Can real football be had with a base of players who are not NFL players? Yes, players can slip through, but are they good enough to make a league? When is he going to announce the start of this league? Is he going to give time? There's so many questions that he's going to answer today at three o'clock Eastern. Right, and a lot of people want more. Pretty football. good crowd. That's part of, of what everyone. This looks more like a wrestling calendar. event, but. Can he get that? Because you look at what the issues the NFL has to deal with, certainly with What the heck is the point of that? Can they get real football without... Now, after you get up, we got to do run to the or something? WWE play will come in. Right. That doesn't look but... And what does he want here? If he calls that the stupid, but... again and he's filed for the trademarks and he's taken... A, we know he's taken $100 million out of the WWE stock that he owns. I don't know if it's going to be $100 million actually to fund this league, but... God, what, if he calls it the that's XFL, a lot of money. What is he going to take out? Are the cheerleaders going to be there? Uh, is, is he going to be a character like Mr. McMahon, like he plays uh, with the WWE? Know, right. what, 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 is, oh. what is he going to be? Uh, uh, how are the logos? What are the cities going to? There's so many questions. Yeah. I will tell you one thing that is definite right now. They're trending four and six on Twitter right now, Vince McMahon and the XFL. There's really no one in the last couple years who's been able to do what he's done. Uh, with the exception of maybe LeVar Ball, and I'm just talking about being able to open your mouth, open your mouth and say something and people love it or hate it. He can create something with a blank slate that no one in the history of sports, maybe in the history of history, has done as successfully yeah. as him. And that's why, no matter how much you make fun of what went down 16 years ago, you have to give respect and you have to wait to see exactly the details of this announcement. I, My, 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 my last thing here is, you know, I wonder about the players. I think that the gravitation is going to be towards the Tebos and the Manzels, the names that will automatically uh, be marketable. And I would say that I would be more excited if he gives everyone the chance instead of saying, yeah, it's the backup QB in the NFL uh, journeyman, but he used to be the quarterback at Tennessee and we have a team in Knoxville. I think that's going to be the, the, that the whole marketing thing. He should try to get the best yeah. football possible, and I think he might have a chance if, in fact, that happens. Right. Lessons learned. I worked briefly at WWE and OSEP very briefly, and I would underestimate uh, Vince McMahon at your own peril. He's got a lot on his table right now. He's got WrestleMania to prepare for in the spring, and now the latest news here about a professional he wants football this. league. Who is think? <laughs> yeah, I heard everything, man. If he brings a team to North Carolina, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. Not every game. I might catch a few games. Somebody tell me what exactly happened to the old XFL. I said XF, XF. Yeah, XFL. Somebody tell me what happened because he had it, what, 2001, 2002, one of those years, and then he's just now reannouncing it. Like, what happened? Because they mentioned that they didn't have enough players or all that stuff. Uh, like how? Like how you going to start a league, Vince? Come on, Vincent. How you going to start a league with no players? He could at least have some wrestlers go out and put some pass on or something. Something. But what y'all think, man? Y'all think this is a smart idea? Y'all think it's a bad idea? They talking about real football, so I guess... Like, what's going to be the difference between this and NFL besides it being rigged in the NFL? I don't know. I don't really watch football that much. I don't watch it that much that more. No, that much anymore. I used to, but I don't really follow it that much anymore because 
after the Panthers lost the Super Bowl, I, I was like, forget it, man. Forget it. I'm done. Ain't no way. Ain't no way Cam Newton had a terrible game like that. The man didn't even run the ball the whole game. Almost the whole game. Come on, bro. But somebody tell me what y'all think of this league, man. Y'all know how we do, though. LDTV, man.